Hey guys, so <clears throat> I am going to do a quick flip through of this book. This is Math Lessons for a Living Education Level 1. Um, it is a master books book um, and I've been doing a ton of research on curriculum for my kindergartner for next year. This is our first year homeschooling and this was one of my top picks and um, I was not able to find a video that really showed what came in it. Like I found lots of reviews and people talking about how much they liked it, but I really like to see what is in, like see some sample lessons and stuff before I purchase. Um, thankfully this was available on Amazon, so I was able to buy it and then that way if I didn't like it, I could return it. But anyway, because I could not find a flip through myself, I figured now that I have the book, I'll do that and post it in case there's someone else in that situation too. So anyway, um, this is right now the first level that they have, like the lowest level. They are, I did see, coming out with a level kindergarten, a level K, and that releases um, soon. But as of right now, level one is the lowest level. However, a lot of people use that for kindergarten. So, you know, it'll be depend on your kid. So anyway, um, it is a workbook. It's got holes punched there. Um, but here is the scope and sequence and you can see like all the different um, lessons that are covered. This is a very Charlotte Mason type curriculum. It is story based um, and teach, teaches math um, kind of through stories. So here's kind of your um, intro stuff, suggested, suggested schedule for the first semester, second semester. Etc. Okay, so basically the whole entire book is this one long story broken up into chunks about these two twins, Charlie and Charlotte, and they're spending the summer at their grandfather grandparents' farm. So each story or each chapter has like a little story about them and then some lessons that go along with it. So here is the first story and it's talking about like using signs in the vegetable garden that has numbers. And then it has them tracing numbers and talking about what's a number, drawing the dots next to the numbers. Um, now you go around your house and you find something you have one of, two of, three of. Um, and it, it tells you exercise two, day two. So you would not necessarily do all this in one day. But anyway, match the number with the number of turtles. Then how old are you? How many fingers do you have? How many eyes? How many legs? And you're writing the numbers here. And then um, more writing, copying of numbers, a little bit more of a story, uh, or continuing on the story. Now we're talking about pigs, counting pigs, counting dogs, um, counting these different farm animals, review, and then they write a, a letter to mom and dad explaining what we learned, which is numbers. Um, and then another matching. So then lesson two, now we've got a story about going to collect eggs and give eggs to people. And so we've got to um, match up the card with the number with how many cartons of eggs. Um, writing numbers. Um, let's see, draw a line under the correct number of flowers. Color in the right number of eggs. Counting objects. Here's some more you know, kind of um, questions. How many plates do you eat on? How many snacks do you eat in a day? So personalized to the child. Copy work. Some more of a story. Um, this is also a Christian curriculum. So um, it talks about how God made the chickens. And then so there's more of a story about that. Um, and then... Here you go, mom and dad. Here's a letter that we're writing, which is the review from that lesson. And then a little art draw picture of a chicken and an egg. Um, next, we're talking about rectangles. So here we're reading about um, some rectangles and story about the pet turtle. And then, you know, color the rectangles and write how many and draw some rectangles and copy some numbers, color the rectangles, how many rectangles were there, um, rectangle around a certain number of objects, some questions about turtles and then rectangles and then 
um, and some more of the story. So it just kind of sprinkles that in. Copying numbers, reviewing and writing your numbers, um, and then rectangles. So lots of um, copy work, which is, I believe, a Charlotte Mason type thing. Like I said, this is our first year homeschooling, so I'm still kind of learning, but from what I've read, that's very Charlotte Mason as well. So anyway, um, and then it just goes through and every single one starts out with a little story that somewhat relates and then you talk about your math concepts circles um, writing how many numbers patterning drawing some more rectangles another story rectangles and circles copying uh, matching the numbers draw this cute picture with the shapes and the flowers. Here we've got um, a story about vegetables. Okay, we're writing our numbers. We're right, drawing a rectangle. We're talking about a circle. We're drawing the numbers of circles next to these numbers here. Um, making a pattern. More numbers, pattern shapes, triangles. So, you know, and we're on exercise four, day 29. So this is, you know, like it, um, so here we're talking about butterflies a lot. Um, yeah, so you, you spend a while on each exercise because we're already up to day, day 29 and we haven't, we're only on four exercises in, right? So anyway, um, here it talks a lot about butterflies, so it pulls in your science, place value, there is this thing in the back that's a place value village and you like punch it out, cut it out and like use beans to make your place value things. I've not like really looked at that and played around with it. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of show what it was because like I said, when I was looking, I could not find anything. Um, so lots of Copy work, copying the numbers. Here's drawing the rectangle, triangle, circle, place value, village. Um, I just couldn't find a good look at the inside of the book. So I wanted to make that so that you could see that and then decide if this is for you or not. So grouping groups of 10. Now we've moved into much larger numbers that we're doing copy work with. Um, patterns and squares. We've got like the life cycle of a frog a little bit. And what do we have here? Precipitation, color of this butterfly, more stories. We're starting to add a little bit. An addition mat pattern, reviewing, writing a or reading a story about little lambs and their turtle. And here we're, you know, figuring out this pattern. Whoops. More numbers. Lots and lots of numbers. A little color by number here. Days of the week. So now we're practicing writing words. More addition. Um, hundreds chart, that's in the back of the book as well. Vertical edition. I have not read all of these, so I don't... Oh, I see. Yeah. So we're adding like with dominoes kind of. Copying. We're up to day 79. So I guess we're maybe roughly halfway through the book. Skip counting, counting by twos. Um, so this is a long story about Noah's Ark here. And that goes along with the counting by twos. Got adding number families up to the number 10. Um, planting beans. So this talks about how to plant beans and use that as part of your story or part of what you're learning. So groups of 100. 
solving for an unknown. Check that out. Okay. So here's some like word problems, but it has them placing their little counting items, whatever you make those to be. They have buttons, counting bears, beans, whatever. Tally marks. All right. It's getting long, so let's see here. We won't go page by page for the rest of the book, but this gives you a pretty good idea. There's more tally marks. There's um, clock. So learning about time a little bit. Counting by fives using your clock. Telling time. Oh, there's a little recipe for grandma's oatmeal that you can make with your kids if you wanted to. Lots of time. Time, time, time. I'm counting, connect the dots. Um, introducing fractions and cutting shapes in half. And place val value village again. More fractions, cutting things in quarters. The clock. Subtraction. So taking away these cinnamon roll things. More subtraction. So yeah, the story here, they find out that their mommy is going to have a baby. So, I love that. And then, reviewing shapes. I'm back at the beginning. Copy work. Triangles. Replace value. Lots more place value stuff. Addition. Skip counting. Tally marks. I guess at this point the story is kind of over and now it's just lots of review. Reviewing the numbers. One, two, a hundred. Write them from memory. Here's the manipul manipulatives. Here's the tens house and the ones house from the place value village, the hundreds house. Would you um, remove them, cut them out, color, laminate. Here's the counting mat, an addition mat, uh, and little cards you cut out to go with it. Hundreds chart, Oops. clock. Days of the week. And then here's how you do the sprouting beans instructions and some other flashcards. So anyway, that is a flip through of Math Le Lessons for a Living Education Level 1. Um, like I said, I got mine from Amazon. It's also on Masterbooks and probably other places too. But I hope that was helpful um, to see what was in it.